Քանի որ Ուկրաինայի դեպքում այսինքն նախատեպ է եղավ, որ ասոցիացիոն համաձայնագրի շարժական մասը ստորագրվեց հնարավոր է, որ Հայաստանի հետ է ստորագրվի քաղաքական հատվածը ասոցիացիոն։ According to the um, planning and according to the programming that we both agreed with the Armenian authorities, um, in 2013, the assistance that was devoted to the various programs that were implemented uh, uh, together with the Armenian partners were around 35 to 40 million euros. The figure is not precise because the implementation is still ongoing for some of the projects and we will have to see the final reports, how much is going to be uh, exactly the final figure, but the limits are here. Um, we um, want to say that mostly the part of assistance went to the governmental programs by, uh, via the instruments of the uh, direct budget support operations. Uh, but uh, there, are, there were other um, activities and projects that were um, uh, devoted to the civil society or to different non-state local actors via different mechanisms. A few weeks ago, together with the Ministry of Economy, I presented some, uh, and the delegation presented some figures that were related to the uh, Sigma TIEX uh, uh, um, uh, projects uh, and technical assistance, basically related projects. I think you could find the data in that uh, information so as not to extend and to use uh, the time uselessly now. Uh, on the statement of the Swedish uh, foreign minister, allow me not to comment, uh, because first and foremost, this was a statement that was quoted by a different agency, and I haven't seen his personal words. Uh, for European Union, what it is important is that we have uh, the um, council conclusions, and when it comes to the relations with the, uh, and the developments uh, in Crimea, the Council conclusions of 20th of March. Uh, as far as Armenia uh, is concerned, I would like to underline that for us now, uh, the main regulatory basis and the main uh, framework for our uh, relations uh, is uh, set now by the package that was adopted during the Vilnius summit, meaning the declaration, the uh, joint statement uh, between the foreign minister and the uh, high representative uh, of um, the uh, European Union, high representative, vice president of the uh, commission. Um, there were uh, indeed uh, uh, thoughts about uh, the precedent that uh, this um, signing um, uh, of the political chapters or the political areas of the uh, association agreement with Ukraine might constitute uh, a kind of a precedent uh, for some other countries, uh, particularly for Armenia. Uh, I will come back to what I said answering the, uh, uh, previously. For us, the main framework of the bilateral relations is set up now by the decision and the package adopted in Vilnius. In Vilnius, what we agreed was to upgrade the, uh, uh, update the action plan in the bilateral relations with Armenia uh, and to engage in the bilateral uh, cooperation, building on what was achieved so far. We were requested and accepted by the Armenian authorities and we committed jointly to engage in sectoral cooperation, in promotion of reforms, in uh, promotion of uh, reforms related to the rule of law, democracy, human rights, fight against corruption, and also to engage in sectoral cooperation. And last but not least, to continue to implement what we have been uh, agreed and achieved in the uh, uh, issues that are related to the mobility, and main, namely the desire facilitation and readmission. So I would not uh, uh, make any um, comparison between the fact that uh, uh, Ukraine signed a political uh, chapter first. As a matter of fact, it's not, a, uh, I would say, um, uh, this is not an issue, uh, basically, I would say it's a non-issue because what is happening in a uh, Ukrainian case, it's a sequence that it has been already convened because the sectoral part as well as the 
uh, the CFTA part uh, of the association agreement uh, uh, with Ukraine are part of the same package and they will be uh, signed uh, very, very soon. Um, EMP review, um, the package, uh, the European neighborhood policy is one of the fundamental parts of the European Union when it comes to, the, to its relations with the neighbors, uh, particularly for Armenia, uh, when we speak about the Eastern Partnership, this will remain one of the important avenues for cooperation between the European Union and the third countries. Um, after Vilnius summit, uh, all the EU member states engage in a kind of internal revision of what were achievements in Vilnius summit and uh, what would be the way ahead. Um, there are internal discussions, indeed, uh, but I can reassure you that those internal discussions are led by no means to diminish the role of Eastern Partnership and generally of the European Neighbourhood Policy, but on the contrary, to engage and to make much more concrete uh, the engagement uh, in that specific field that are covered by the European Neighbourhood Policy or in case of interest for us in the Eastern Partnership. Um, the things are still ongoing now. Uh, of course, that will translate in more concrete proposals on how to engage, how to make much more significant the proposals uh, uh, and much more relevant the principle more for more, for instance, or how to engage more concretely in sectoral cooperation. But um, uh, when it comes to uh, the finalization on how this is going to be reviewed, I think it's too early to discuss now, or to answer now. One thing is very much clear. The heads of states and the governments in Vilnius adopted a very comprehensive declaration which constitutes the roadmap, a very important blueprint for the engagement of the European Union with the Eastern uh, partners' countries. And it's very substantive with a wide range of sectoral areas whereby countries are encouraged to continue their engagement, to continue their reform, and to continue their relations uh, uh, with the European uh, uh, with European uh, Union. Uh, when it comes to uh, the sectoral cooperation um, uh, that uh, is um, um, uh, to be followed uh, now uh, together with the uh, Armenian authorities, um, uh, we heard and we know about the so-called list of activities that was adopted uh, a few weeks ago and that offers us an indication to see what are the many lists where the Armenian authorities would like to engage, but as you might understand, this has to be somehow, somehow formally uh, put together uh, the areas of cooperation. So we engage in a dialogue with our Armenian partners, and we uh, convene for the next incoming period that we should remain together, engage basically in issues that are related to the private sector development, that will uh, have a specific focus on the investment climate in Armenia, Secondly, that we uh, will also continue the engagement in the areas related to the public administration reforms, and that will cover also the issues on governance. And uh, last but not least, we will continue the engagement in the fields of uh, justice and human rights. And I think that this will not be a surprise for you to understand what is the link between all these areas I mentioned and the content of the uh, progress report that we have just been issuing uh, uh, today. Um, uh, for uh, the question raised by Gala News uh, regarding the Kesab uh, events in Syria, uh, yes, we have been contacted by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, uh, yesterday, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we will um, uh, convey, and we already conveyed that message actually to, to, to Brussels, and um, we will follow up on that issue to see uh, how things will uh, be addressed there. Uh, one thing is clear, the, uh, it is the principal position of the European Union not to accept and even to condemn the attack on the civilians. And I think that um, uh, this will remain uh, for the next uh, uh, period the principal position of the European Union. Next questions? Yep. Oh.
Vorum, das man durch mich aber schafft, ist Sport, das man sich kaputt ist, aber die Nase kann auch nicht damit kaputt, wo wird das? September ist jede Kiste für die Kreide, aber ich habe die Schatten, 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 die Most probably the first part of the question I couldn't hear, I said it was a little bit noisy, I couldn't answer. For the 2014, the uh, envelope uh, of the financial assistance is not yet clarified. It's still under consideration. Um, we really need to have a thorough review together with the Armenian authorities on how we are going to engage in the implementation of what we agreed in Vilnius uh, and how this will be compatible with the new uh, Armenian commitments. Um, but uh, I wouldn't like to offer the impression that the revision will be substantially downwards, first and foremost. We do not have those figures. Secondly, we have a quite area of uh, uh, intervention uh, where we could continue our cooperation as indicated uh, in Vilnius and as agreed as a matter of fact in Vilnius and we will be looking very much forward to see exact uh, envelope. But um, let me be very clear to underline something very much important. EU-Armenia cooperation is not about money. EU-Armenia cooperation is about values, is about reforms, and the success in the implementation of the reforms based on the European Union values and norms. So, um, as soon as uh, these figures will become available, of course we will discuss with the uh, Armenian authorities on how we can intervene financially to support exact the implementation of those reforms, exact the implementation of structural um, uh, changing that will be oriented on the European Union values and, uh, uh, and norms. Yes, I heard that opinion before several times, um, but it is the constant position of the European Union to engage and to urge both sides to refrain from uh, this kind of statements, because we are in uh, close cooperation with the co-chairs of the Minsk Group, and we would like to make sure that the contribution of the European Union will bring in uh, added value in creating an atmosphere that will be conducive uh, to the settlement process under the concrete uh, mediation and uh, uh, leadership of the OEC uh, uh, Minsk Group co-chairmanship.